All right, let's talk about layering and masking. So I have my tile and I've actually already added some texture. This is optional, but I find that it gives a really good um, example or experience of what um, another layer that you can create. So you can add texture if you want. Then I'm going to think about, well, what colors do I want on my piece? And layering and masking is literally uh, all about layering. So I'm gonna start, say, with some white underglaze. And I might not even paint it on the entire piece. Maybe I just wanna cover this section over here. And you can see with my texture, sometimes I don't even get the underglaze into all of it, and I might choose to leave it in this case. This is really all about practice and seeing what happens. For the sake of time, I'm gonna hair dry. So as I was drying it, I also added some really random colors and patterns and everything. You can certainly think about it a little more. I just wanna show you how you can layer color. So these colors aren't really layered except for in some areas. Layering comes in, especially in combination with masking. So I have some paper that I've cut out into some strips or shapes, and so you could do any shape you want. And I'm gonna use this paper to mask, to kind of keep clean a certain area. So I need to get my paper a little damp. I find that it sticks better. So I have a damp sponge here, and I'm going to place it down somewhere that I want to keep, say I like how this is looking. I'm going to mask it off with my paper. So you're gonna think about arrangement, put things down. But again, this activity is really about practicing the technique, so don't overthink it, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and play around with masking. And what that means is that I'm gonna get another color of underglaze or a different color for a different area and paint over my mask paper. So say I have black and I wanna paint some on here. I want to just be careful that I don't get it underneath the paper because even though I've put it down with um, some water, it still could get um, underglaze under there. So I don't want to brush towards, like towards my paper. I want to brush with or away from it. And you could, of course, do a lot of different colors here. I'm just going with black because I just want you to see what your options are here. And so from here, I can lift up my paper, and that's where you reveal what you've masked off. So that piece I had already easy to grab. If I can't grab it really easily, a needle tool is great to kind of lift up. So here you can see where my underglaze kind of squished underneath. And again, so you could leave it, or maybe you can scrape it away if you don't like it. So you can see masking can be a really effective way to create a lot of layers of underglaze and texture. And then if you wanted to add additional layers, you could even do some scraffito on top of this. So then I'm all of a sudden crossing boundaries of different color blocking. Maybe even I'm kind of crossing over here. All right. So this is layering and masking. So by the end of this uh, practice activity, you should end up with something with maybe three or four different colors, a few areas that have been you know, blocked off with a mask, paper mask, and maybe some texture. Texture is optional, but you can see how it can be effective creating additional depth of layers. So this is layering and masking.